All great innovations start with nothing. A great zero, which is a live creative space, a simple human freedom of mind from which great ideas are born. Join me to look at some facts behind one of the great innovations in history, Israel's first and most powerful startup, an enterprise that helped shape and conceive a nation, Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. Let's draw a graph together. Here's the x-axis. It shows the years. Here's the y-axis. It shows the cumulative number of Technion graduates. The size and number of the bubbles reflect the number of graduates. It all began at ground level in the small coastal town of Haifa in 1912. There were no engineers, no professors. There was no Israel. It all began at zero. Yet within that zero was a vision of a better future. Maybe a fantasy, a pipe dream of a handful of visionary educators. But on April 11, 1912, that dream became a first cornerstone. Like all startups, the beginning was hard. The first graduates were a group of 17, among them Israel's first female architect. Still, nothing much seemed to be happening, except two disastrous world wars. Then, in 1951, shortly after the birth of the independent state of Israel in 1948, around the time that the Faculty of Aeronautical Engineering was set up, we begin literally to see a liftoff. By 1958, Technion had outgrown its first building. David Ben-Gurion offered a new 300 dunam, or 75 acre campus, the Technion city of today. By 1971, Technion had 10,000 graduates. And by the 1980s, these graduates were spawning a high tech revolution. After the Berlin Wall fell in 1989, Technion grew still faster to absorb the talent of incoming Soviet bloc scientists. Today, in 2012, there are over 70,000 Technion graduates in Israel and across the world. Cross borders, across the frontiers of science and technology, with innovations from the ocean depths to outer space in medicine, nanotechnology, energy engineering, autonomous systems, computer science, and electrical engineering, these graduates make up what I like to call Technion Nation. So, let's take a closer look at the impact of Technion graduates on Israel and the world. Of some 300-odd non-American NASDAQ-listed companies, 72 are based in Israel, and of these, two-thirds are led by Technion grads. Of Israel's top 125 business leaders, a third are Technion grads. Over a third of Technion grads work in industry and another 12% in research and development. Technion grads lead nine of Israel's top 10 exporting companies. Over 41% of Technion grads at work today fill senior management positions. And one quarter of all Technion grads has founded at least one startup and one female Technion grad in seven has founded a business. Nice figures, but let's look at the faces behind the miracle. People like Moshe Yanai, who revolutionized data storage systems. Shai Agassi, a global entrepreneur who is creating a transportation revolution with infrastructure for electric cars that run without a drop of gasoline. Dadi Perlmutter, executive VP of Intel, who helped invent the Pentium and the Centrino. Inbal Kreis, who heads the Aero 3 project of Israel Aerospace Industries. For citizens of Technion Nation, innovation is second nature. Take a look at just some of the powerful patented devices on global markets. A camera the size of a pill to examine the inside of the intestinal tract from given imaging. An ultrasound system that can dissolve brain tumors without surgery from Insitec. Velcade, a drug to treat cancer, developed out of the ubiquitin discovery 
that won Israel its first Nobel Prizes in science. Rewalk, the exoskeleton that puts paraplegics back on their feet and enabled one paraplegic to complete the entire London Marathon. The Lempel-Zeev algorithm, applied by Technion graduates to bring real-time images of the surface of Mars. So, where will we be a hundred years from now? With a few entirely reasonable assumptions about Technion's growth and expansion, when we celebrate Technion's 200th birthday, Technion Nation will comprise half a million citizens. If 70,000 graduates can build Israel and change the world, imagine the impact of 500,000. A pipe dream? That's what they said in 1912. Today, Technion is home to three Nobel laureates, and it has joined forces with Cornell University to set up a new paradigm of advanced science and technology education in New York City. NYC Tech and the Technion Cornell Institute of Innovation. Across the world, innovators, decision makers, and entrepreneurs look to Technion to share that creative space behind the first big idea. Our human power to apply creativity, skills, and advanced science to shape a better, brighter future for us all. <laughs>